If you have been taking courses and watching tutorials, you feel like you are progressing, but you are still struggling to get that interview, this video is for you. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to share my top 3 advice for you as a beginner to stand out on your job search. So number 1, portfolio. You may have seen that coming, but I can't stress this enough. You have to build your own projects, you have to build a portfolio. Employers want to know if you can build things by yourself and having a portfolio of apps will show them that. It will show that you are capable of building stuff top to bottom from the core idea all the way to deployment on App Store. And I'm talking about real projects, you know, not that Pokedex app or that to-do app that you've built for a tutorial, that's not gonna cut it. You need to come up with something on your own, it could be anything. I'm not getting into what to build here on this video, maybe in a future video. I just want to stress here that having a portfolio of apps will definitely help you get interviews. You don't even need a website to showcase your apps. You can set up everything on your GitHub, you know, with a nice readme, with screenshots, a well-polished description. That's good enough. Fun fact, that's how I got my first iOS development job. The recruiter saw my GitHub profile and liked it and just sent me a message inviting me for an interview. Also, with the portfolio, when you get an interview, you have something to talk about. One of the most common questions that interviewer is gonna ask you is to talk about something you have built and explain what challenge did you have and how did you solve it. And answering that question without a project is gonna be really tricky. So, okay, you have built a nice portfolio for yourself and wanna know what else can you do to stand out. That's when my second advice come in. But before I get into it, I want to give you some context. Well, there's something that I feel that is not talked about as much, but it should, is that most video courses that you take and YouTube tutorials that you follow are not how you write professional software for corporate jobs. It simply isn't, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of good courses out there that will set you up for a good start, for sure. And you can build a lot of stuff with that knowledge. But here's the thing, when you build a side project, you build everything by yourself, using everything you know. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong. By building your own projects, you are ahead of most people. Because, let's face it, most people get stuck on tutorial hell and don't even try to build their own projects. So, why am I bringing these points? Well. It's because companies are looking for someone with team experience, with experience working and collaborating with other developers, and also someone with experience using patterns and architectures used in the industry. But you may think, but Everton, how can I get this experience by myself? And that's where my second advice comes in. You need to start contributing to open source projects. An open source project is much closer to a corporate job than a solo project. And you'll be able to gain real world experience while also giving back to the community. By contributing to an open source project, you will need to navigate a large code base written by several people. In addition, you get to work with patterns and architectures used in the industry. You'll be working alongside experienced developers, solving issues, suggesting improvements. That's a really valuable experience. And that's exactly the kind of experience that companies are looking for. Imagine having your resume Firefox contributor. Sounds good, right? If you already have a portfolio of apps to showcase on an interview, it's already looking good for you. But on top of that, if you can add open source experience, that will make you an even stronger candidate. I assure you that. Networking is key. Making connections on the iOS dev community can open doors you might not even know exist. You need to engage in online communities like Twitter and LinkedIn so you can share your ideas, your insights and also learn from others. But then we can say, you know, that's cool but I don't have much experience to share. No problem, just document your journey. Share something you have seen that you found interesting. Share something you are building. Engage in discussions on Twitter threads. Don't be afraid of reaching out to experienced developers to ask questions or for advice. I can assure you that most of them are more than willing to help you. I get Twitter DMs all the time from beginners and I'm always trying to find a time to respond to all of them. By networking, 
you get insights from trends on the industry, job opportunities that people might share, or even get a referral. Remember, the tech industry is all about collaboration and forming relationships will make a huge difference on landing your first job. And there you have it guys, these are my top 3 advices. Uh, I know how hard it is to break that barrier of the first job, but be consistent, keep going that you will eventually get there. If you found these tips valuable, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you on the next one. Bye.